Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for a Libra. How are you guys? This is a general reading, so take it how it best resonates. Be any aspect of your life. And we have uh, partnership, okay, money, financial stability. Someone wants to come out. Yeah, someone's going through a bit of awakening. They're taking a pause, looking at things from a different perspective. Pisces energy. Just some introspection, yeah? Choices in love, someone's path in love. So this is someone here who's looking at things from a different perspective, seeing things differently. Now, it could be two people who have different opinions. <laughs> a little Gemini energy. So we have some love here. Somebody's choice in love. Yeah. We have someone healing, taking a break, the thoughts that pinned them down. So it's somebody gaining balance. So it's energy of balance. Someone's looking at things different. Now, this could be a, uh, a unique situation here. Now, this could be money. and ha This could be a place, someone checking you out. Okay, looking to see if you're connected to someone. But I feel someone here is healing. This is somebody who's coming, you know, uh, clearing their head, the thoughts that pin them down, and healing. Finding their inner balance. So there's some kind of energy of someone's balancing their thoughts, looking at things from a different perspective. This is someone who's seeing things differently. To do with uh, marriage, commitment, a contract of some kind, a job. It has to do with money and financial stability. But it also has to do with friends and family okay yeah you know it has to do with somebody here you know some kind of history here too so yeah, I'm trying to put my finger on what it's trying to tell me here libra but i do see a little sag energy someone just kind of finding their inner balance so it's definitely a healing so there's an opportunity yeah so someone this is the ace of cups this is someone here looking at things different they're looking at this opportunity so it looks like some kind of invitation or communication. It's a beautiful new emotional experience. So this could be someone different than your usual type. Okay. Now this could be trying something different, something unique. Okay. Choosing something you love. And it could be to do with a business opportunity. Could be a family involved too, a family situation. But it has to do with a lot of financial security. Okay. Slow and steady wins the race. A little Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who's been a little apprehensive. They're looking at the details. So this is someone here after a period of time. They're kind of looking at this. You see? This partnership, family, stability. But they are, this is a, definitely an energy of someone who's, you know, going through healing. The thoughts that pin them down. This is an energy of someone taking a break. And they're seeing things different. So it looks like there's someone coming in to offer you, you know, some kind of opportunity or invitation. Yeah, renewal. So it's a renewal. So it could be a reconciliation or just someone who has, you know, some kind of uh, renewed sense of, of self, what they want. Okay. So this energy of someone reviewing the past with compassion, forgiveness. It's time to head in a new direction. So it's just a new direction. Someone who's different. Wow. Oops. Libra. There we go. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> well, Libra energy renewal. So this is an energy of being clear. So this is being discerning. Okay, so it's an energy of questioning things. So it's, definitely there's a judgment, some kind of judgment or decision being made. So it's an energy of just kind of looking at things. Now, this could be already two people who are connected. There's some kind of bond here, but I see a break. So there could be, you know, some people on a bit of a break. But someone here, after a period of time, is pulling back, looking at things different. Maybe you're different than their usual type, or there's, you know, someone here may be looking at a choice or something is off. Maybe you feel something is off. So, like I say, you could be taking a break here. But I can see the energy of being discerning. See, slow and steady wins the race. But this is a person who looks at things carefully. They feel apprehensive. But they're looking at things. They want this to be successful. Okay, so there's a lot of focus on money. Somebody who maybe wants to be successful. Yeah. Let's have a look at that. There we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody very, see, look, reviewing the past with kindness and compassion. 
So this is someone doing some thinking. It could be yourself doing some thinking, sort of analyzing a situation. Okay, but it's about doing what's right for yourself here. Yeah, a lot of focus on career too. I feel money. But I do see an energy of um, someone here being mature. So this is an elder of chalices. Okay, so it's, it doesn't mean someone older, it could be, but it's also someone who's emotionally mature. See, someone's looking at that. See, they're looking at it. They're looking at it differently. Yeah, see, someone's been kind of stuck, stubborn, see, protecting themselves. So someone, it's an energy of being stuck. Things being kind of stagnant, but it's also a someone here to do with their money, something to do with money protecting it or like i say someone who's very protective we'll see where that goes let's have a look at the lovers and we have yeah so a cycle has ended somebody's ending a situation that's stuck and stagnant so it could be where like i say you're cutting someone out you may be feeling different but i see reviewing the past with kindness and compassion looks like you're ready for something new okay yeah but i feel this is this person here looking at you Okay, looking at things from a different perspective. Yeah, someone here has definitely got some sensible, practical energy. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Yeah, see, somebody here miss, has, feels they've missed an opportunity. They're now feeling different, differently. So could be someone who's rejected someone. Okay, now feeling differently because now we but you could have a new opportunity too so it's thank you but no thank you yeah someone here is emotionally drained like i gotta tell you someone here has been kind of stuck they're emotionally drained they need to clear their energy so let's just leave that at that because i the balance tells me someone's inner balance it's also an energy of healing okay kind of going within but it does look like an opportunity. Someone may have missed an opportunity or someone, like I say, they could be saying thanks, but no thanks. But that balance tells me it's a person who's looking at things different. Now, this could have to do with children. Okay. Could have someone coming in. Maybe you want children. <laughs> okay. And you're not budging or giving in. But it could be someone reminiscing because I do see reviewing the past, reminiscing, see some kind of crush, some kind of opportunity. It's an energy of someone being kind of sentimental, see, feeling different about a situation. And there could be children involved, single parent uh, energy. But it's often a person who's longing for love, someone who's failing to recognize something. Yeah, you got a king of wands here. Now, is, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini. <laughs> see, this is an energy of someone who generally knows what they want. See, so someone's coming in to offer this opportunity. Someone here has been reviewing the past. Now, like I say, they could be a single parent. Maybe they want children, but, you know, I don't know what this is. It's a missed opportunity or someone who's emotionally drained. Someone who needs to take a break. Okay. Who is this elder of wands? Who is this person? Let's focus on that. Who who are they and what do they want? They're charming. Yeah, it's a little sad energy. So it could be just someone in that energy. But this is somebody here tempering their passions, tempering their emotions. See, this is someone whose cup runneth over with feelings. So this is somebody here who's tempered their, their passions. Okay. Kind of taking their time looking at things. So it's an energy of being patient. Somebody here is being patient or having to be. So now watch your temper, watch your words. See, maybe you have some regrets. Yeah, maybe reviewing the past here, kind of reminiscing about a situation. Someone maybe, you know, this could be yourself, but this is someone tempering their passion. Now this is someone who often needs to watch their words. <laughs> tempering their words. Somebody with a bit of a temper maybe. Okay, but I, I'm seeing someone's cup runneth over. It has to do with an opportunity. See, there's the energy of someone taking a leap of faith, leaving something behind. Someone's reviewing the past. One last look over their shoulder. Yeah, looking on the past with kindness, compassion, maybe forgiveness. Yeah, it's about heading in a new direction. It's about clarity, getting some kind of clarity. See, it's an energy of looking before you leap. See, maybe it's yourself. Maybe you took a risk with someone here. OK, 
Okay, or maybe they took a risk. But I, I got to tell you, there was some kind of rejection. Someone maybe, you know, rejected you or you rejected them. Maybe, you know, you're thinking, I feel this is some kind of renewal. But it, it definitely looks like a new path because there it is, the renewal. See, one last look over the shoulder. Okay, feeling a little apprehensive. Maybe someone's moving too slow, kind of dragging their feet. Or you're knowing that this person's apprehensive. But it has to do with a lot of focus on money. I definitely see someone saving money, holding on to their money, or feeling they need to protect themselves. Now, maybe there was something on and off between two people, or someone's ending a situation with one person. It could be yourself. Like I say, I feel some of you are ready, to lo you're ready for love again here after a break. Yeah, let's have a look at this renewal. What is this all about? Yeah, so some kind of judgment, see? Somebody made a decision. They took a risk and made a decision. Somebody may have lost their temper. I don't really feel so much temper, though, because I feel this is someone tempering their passion, tempering their emotion. See, it has to do with someone being emotionally mature. See? Temperance is here twice. It's both people. Balance. That card's also about temperance, inner balance. Yeah, so it has to do with someone initiating a conversation. So this is someone, you know, initiating. So you may be tempted by this person, but I feel like you, whatever it is, it has to do with you took already took a risk and this person rejected you. you know, maybe they initiated it, okay? Um, but they're tempering that passion, you see? This energy of being patient. I feel you took a risk. So you're going to be very discerning. This person's going to reach out. You're going to be tempted, I feel, more than anything. Yeah. It's a judgment and a decision. Could be a reconciliation, but often it's just a judgment, making a, a sound a decision. So this is where I feel maybe you're confident about a decision you've made. Okay, it's about being confident. See, something ended painfully. A painful period in someone's life is over. The straw that broke the camel's back. Maybe you have a situation that's on and off, but I feel this person's going to initiate a conversation. Okay, they want to talk about something. Now, they could have children or it has to do with reminiscing because they're pulling back and seeing things different. Now, maybe you have different points of views, who initiated, who started it. <laughs> well, this person is the one starting it. See, it's the opportunity. Yeah, their cup runneth over. See, there's something becoming very clear. See, it's now I feel it's telling you, figure out what it is you want, what makes you happy. So there's a painful period that's over in someone's life. It's finished, okay? So it's a decision to put an end either to a situation, but it's reviewing the past. And I know people don't like to do that, but there's some reminiscing. Someone here is very sentimental. I mean, it could be children involved here, um, you know, but there's some kind of situation with ending a cycle. This is somebody who wants things to go in their favor, but something didn't because I feel like, you know, you were protecting yourself or not budging, not giving in. But it also could be someone looking at feeling they were being selfish, you know. Let's have a look at that Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's definitely an energy of someone here. See, it has to do with someone's ego, someone's pride getting in the way. It has to do with someone wanting to be a good provider. See, they want things to go in their favor. It has to do with success and victory. So it's someone breaking free from a stuck and stagnant situation. There we have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It looks like possible Gemini and Sag. I mean, maybe there's some kind of choice here, but... Now, this is someone who wants things to go in their favor. They're analyzing a situation, but it has to do with this person, I feel, looking at things different from a different perspective, seeing things different. Now, maybe you're just not, you know, you both have different point of views of who started it, who initiated something. I don't know what this is about when it comes to, you know, children or reminiscing, but it's an energy after a period of time, someone pulling back, seeing things different. So this is someone becoming very clear. They want things to go in their favor. They need to initiate. There it is. Marriage commitment. See, there's a reason to celebrate. This is someone who's feeling more positive about a situation. So it's a person breaking free from a situation they've been stuck in. Maybe, you know, 
stagnant, stuck in a relationship. Someone's trying to protect something here. See, it's a person with ego. Someone's pride getting in the way, but it has to do with someone chasing. Someone chasing something here. Someone may be looking at things different. Maybe they felt you were chasing them because they were successful or vice versa. I, I definitely see the vice versa between you. Um, but yeah, they're, they're wise. They're analytical. They're doing a lot of thinking. Now, this has to do with partnering up, a partnership. It also has to do with financial stability. So someone maybe made a choice with someone because they were more successful thinking they were making the right choice or doing the right thing. Now, it's possible this is something that ended. It looks like it didn't go very far. It wasn't long term. And there's that reason to celebrate the house, the home, the family, commitment, marriage, see something long term. This is someone who's likely never been married or hasn't had anything long term. They're definitely someone who probably gets chased or they feel that way about you. I don't think you're chasing anyone here. Let's have a look at this four of cups. Yeah, so there's someone here, see, there's an energy of frustration, mind games, manipulation, but it's trust issues. See, something started, someone wasn't trusting something here. Now, this is often energy where, like I say, the straw that broke the camel's back, where you make up someone's mind for them and you cut them out, okay? Because maybe you took a risk with this person, then they rejected you. Maybe there was some kind of manipulation. Maybe you feel they were playing little mind games, manipulating. But I actually feel this is someone who didn't trust something. They didn't trust a decision they were making. Because I feel it's, it has to do with them initiating. And I feel they're going to reach out and it's going to be tempting. Okay. Somebody tempted, they're reviewing the past, thinking, see, it has to do with the situation ended. I've seen a similar energy in Gemini's reading here, so, and there's a Gemini energy here, so, yeah, and maybe a Scorpio energy as well, but something, see, somebody started something, initiated, then it ended, see, they started something before they ended something else. It's often a person who can't make up their mind, so you make it up for them. But it looks like maybe you took a risk, or maybe they took a risk and started something. But I feel like you made someone's mind up. You spoke up. Now, I don't know, maybe, you know, you're looking at that. I, I actually feel you're, you know, it. someone who sees you have their best interest at heart. Someone sees that you have their best interest. Okay, so this is an interesting energy, but that risk is someone here who has to do with someone after a period of time taking a leap of faith. They're leaving something behind. See, this is somebody ending a situation with somebody who has children or, like I say, reminiscing. It's someone who's longing for love, marriage, someone who's, you know, been longing for love here. But there's the energy of change. So there's some kind of change coming. Some of you have changed, okay? Uh, maybe this person's wondering if you've moved on, but uh, it could be someone coming back around wanting to reconcile. But, you know, I feel it's telling you, figure out what it is you want, what makes you happy, what fulfills you emotionally, because something really positive is about to happen. You may change your mind about this person. It all depends what's going to happen or what has happened. So let's have a look at this death card. It looks like a Scorpio. Maybe you ended something with somebody because somebody reached out, you were tempted by another person, possibly, I don't know, you or them, but there's perspective here. Let's have a look at the death card. Let's have a look. What is this all about? Yeah, it's choice, ending a situation with one person, choosing another path. This is someone who's moved on from someone here. It ended. I feel they took a risk with someone. It didn't go anywhere. It wasn't successful. It didn't lead to marriage or commitment is what it looks like. It didn't, you know, and the cycle's over. Now this is someone who wants things to go in their favor. They're analyzing, trying to figure out how to get things to go in their favor. Tell me about the five of swords. Yeah, see, there's that trusting this offer, this opportunity. See, this is someone here not so sure if they should trust this opportunity. Someone may have played a few mind games or manipulated, but I, I, I feel like someone here is kind of frustrated. And I do feel it's an energy of someone taking a break and healing, healing from a situation. See, they're emotionally, someone's emotionally drained. 
But there's this opportunity. Now it's, it's here twice. Some of you may have several opportunities. Like I say, like an opportunity. They had an opportunity. Maybe they took it. Okay, maybe you initiated it and took a risk. See, now we have this energy of um, the way someone conducts themselves. Now it has to do with faith. It has to do with someone's lifestyle, their habits, the way they behave, the way they conduct themselves. Okay, it has to do with two people not being. See, I feel someone took a risk with someone and they ended up not being on the same page. Maybe they even had children. I don't know. But the reminiscing here is a person who's definitely longing for love and feeling differently after a period of time because they're reviewing the past. They're reviewing this. See, one last look over their shoulder. You got someone who's going to take a risk. They're coming towards you. Okay, and they're thinking about taking a risk and committing. This is someone I feel who, you know, um, probably wanted to marry somebody. But it's like someone here was confident they were making the right choice, choosing someone who was more successful. But their pride got in the way. Or someone was chasing them. And it has to do with children. Now, it could be someone's biological clock is ticking, ticking, so they're chasing after someone wanting to get married. I don't think it ended up in a marriage. I mean, it's possible, but it definitely is ending. Something has ended. Now, this is a choice in love, someone's path. So I feel we got a person heading in your direction. Some of you have moved on, though. Like I feel, you know, this is, but it's telling you whatever has ended, there's a painful period in your life that's over. So there's some kind of decision and it does look like some of you a reconciliation. Okay. Now maybe you took a risk with someone. Maybe they ended up reconciling with this other person. So I feel you've kind of moved on here. Yeah. But I feel they're going to come and talk to you. Yeah, see healing, releasing negative thoughts and energy, taking a break. Some of you have healed. You're definitely happier in a happier place. This is now over. You've you got a whole new cycle uh, coming towards you. Okay, you got this whole, you got your life in front of you, put it that way. So I see a lot of happiness. You may find out someone has ended the situation with someone. Maybe that's what's making you happy. They may come towards you. But some of you, I feel like you've already moved on. And I feel there's something that's changed you forever. Okay? Yeah. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Yeah, see, healing. Something new. And then we have an emperor. Someone leveling up. Someone's leveling up, becoming an emperor. Definitely someone's pride or ego got in the way. It has to do with them being more successful. See, this is someone who's focused on their money. They want to be successful before they start something. They want to be ready. So whoever this is, is in that emperor energy. So they're coming in to start something. This is someone coming in to express themselves. I feel everything being illuminated. Now, this person could be looking uh, for truth to see if you've started something new. But whatever's coming towards you is going to make you feel happy, okay? There's something very happy here about this. Some, this is a person who's, I feel, confident about a decision. See, this is someone who is saving their money, protecting themselves. Someone who gets chased a lot because people think they're financially successful. They may not have been, Okay. They may actually not have been that successful. I mean, maybe their pride got in the way, but you know, whatever's happened here, I mean, it looks like it's an energy of someone who took a risk to start something before they ended the situation. But, you know, yeah, see, it's about choosing the one. See, this is about choosing the one, choosing that wand. Someone who knows what they want and they go after it. So they took a risk because they didn't want to miss this opportunity. Some of you have a couple of opportunities too. Or they got another opportunity with somebody here that they knew when they were young. Yeah, and it's very similar to the Gemini read. So there's a Gemini here. I mean, maybe this is who you're cutting out and moving on. But I see an Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Taurus. Libra, yourself here, see, making a decision to put an end to a painful situation to move on. It's like, you know, 
Yeah, see, it has to do with someone taking responsibilities. We got lots of this energies of tens, which tells me cycles are ending. See, it's an energy of burdens, responsibility, baggage. Someone's dropping the baggage here. But it has to do with someone who feels responsible, maybe because they initiated. Now, there could be a blame game with two people blaming each other, but... You know, just make sure anyone doesn't blame you, okay? Or you're blame. I mean, it could be two people blaming each other, but it, to me it looks more like someone, uh, you know, has a lot of responsibilities, a lot of weight on their shoulders. I mean, it could be someone who has children. Maybe that's what the decision, you know, because if it, it isn't long-term, it doesn't work out. I mean, it could be some kind of an agreement between you and another person that you won't take responsibility for the children. Like you want to make sure someone doesn't make you responsible if it isn't you know and maybe that's where you're feeling like you need to protect yourself but i feel it has to do with pushing through fear and bringing in this change there's so much abundance coming towards you here so this is a really positive energy so it's just letting go of these burdens responsibility baggage whatever it is but if you do connect with someone who has children or maybe it's them they're a little worried about being responsible for children okay if it doesn't work out. So there could be some kind of um, prenup, possibly a prenup energy here. But I feel like we got someone where it's like two people are just not on the same page. They don't get, two people don't get each other. So that's why I feel it's, it's somebody's ending, choosing to initiate an ending with someone maybe they have children with. I don't know, but let's have another look at that. It's a person longing for love, missing somebody, you see, yeah, see, someone who kept pushing someone away. Someone who pushed someone away. They're not letting their guard down. Maybe you took a chance and stood up to this person. Okay. Yeah. But I feel there's going to be a situation that's going to be acknowledged. There's going to be some kind of acknowledgement. Okay acknowledging the success in a relationship see it's someone who starts something they feel like it's not going to be long term because they haven't had anything long term you see that's where i feel it's like it started off wrong you know the foundation wasn't built so yeah whatever happened here but i i, I gotta tell you it's about uh, prenups and negotiation and contracts now some of you it's a work situation a business opportunity it's just choosing something you love okay things are about to go in your favor and you may have multiple opportunities so you might be a little guarded a little defensive a little protecting yourself afraid to let your guard down see afraid to take a risk so it's an energy and that could be this person too like i say you know where they have to make this choice they have to initiate but they need to end something else first but it's someone tempering their passion see it's tempering that passion and being patient that's yeah and there we have the nine of wands see it's an energy of someone who's feeling a little beat up see it's when you're just about ready to give up you put something behind and you heal you've moved on now this person's reminiscing. I feel like you are going to review this past yourself here because you may have a new opportunity. Okay, but something positive is going to happen. It has to do with you choosing the right person, choosing the one. Now you may have a situation, a choice where you realize someone just isn't right for you or this other person does. But there's that nine of wands, putting the past in the past, leaving it there. See, moving towards something more successful. Now, it's also an energy of someone who initiates a situation. They can't make up their mind. You see, someone who can't make up their mind. So it's a little fickle, maybe even a little wishy-washy, but it has to do with someone who maybe gets jealous. They don't want anyone else to have you. Okay, but they push you away. 
So like I say, when you're just about ready to give up, make sure you are on the same page. But I definitely see some kind of an agreement or the end of a commitment, end of a relationship. So I feel you're just going to be very discerning. It looks like you have choices. See, three of wands. See, waiting, choosing the one, waiting for the right person. So you have something new coming in. You're going to make yourself very clear. You're going to be discerning. But I feel like you're in a happy place. So if you have a person coming back around, it's possible you already have something new. Or while you're waiting for this to work itself out, whatever this is, you've got someone new coming in. So I feel like you're going to be very discerning and very wise. There it is, the aha moment. See, this is the light bulb going off. You see, someone's going, aha, I get it. Okay, I see. So it has to do with truth, success. See, someone's looking for truth to see if you've started something new. But you may be, while you're waiting, seeing the truth about someone. Someone maybe didn't tell you the whole truth. But I feel like you got a big decision. But while you're waiting, it looks like it has to do with choosing the right person, choosing the one. Yeah, we have an emperor coming in. This is a person who's pretty determined here. They know exactly what they want. I actually feel some of you are going to have some boundaries here, okay? But I feel there's a person here. It has to do with them being responsible. Someone is feeling responsible. I feel they're going to tell you some kind of truth. If you've given up on love and they, you know, maybe this person sees that maybe you've just given up on love. Maybe they feel responsible. So, yeah, I don't know. Reviewing the past with kindness and compassion. So there's some kind of review. See, there it is, the offer, the opportunity. Somebody's going to offer you this, see, putting their best foot forward. So it looks like you have something solid and reliable. Some of you have job opportunities here too. I, I can see that negotiation and contract here, making some kind of decision. Um, I feel it, a lot of you, you're choosing something you love, something creative. Okay, It could have to do with houses, homes, uh, decorating, definitely creative pursuits. Yeah, I think you're just going to be very wise, very discerning. So some of you, like I say, someone's going to initiate, maybe you're going to end something and you're going to take this other offer where you're just realizing, you know, you're waiting, wasting time, someone keeping you in stuck situation. It could really be that, si that simple. But there it is, friends and family, see truth. Yes. There's other people possibly involved, okay? But I see some kind of truth and success to do with positive, some kind of invitation. Friends and family. So there's some kind of acknowledgement from friends and family, people. Maybe it's this person's friends and family. But wow, you're going to find something out maybe through the grapevine or someone's looking online, dating, social media, or talking to friends and family to see if you've started something new. Some of you, it looks like you have. Now you have this choice. There's the, the magician. So somebody may have been manipulating. Someone in your friends and family may have manipulated because there's this aha. So really watch that because sometimes there's, you know, that energy of someone who's also interested in the same person. So someone may have manipulated, but what I see here is you have all the tools see you have an emperor someone who's mature they have all the tools they have all the information they already know everything they need to know so they know they're gathering info because they're ready to manifest this but if you have a person who manipulates or somebody in your social circle may have manipulated so there may have been someone who put their guard up because of this Okay, somebody playing mind games, manipulating. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, I definitely see a Scorpio. Someone ending it with one, possibly. But I'm seeing Gemini here twice, too. But that's often just that choice in love. So, what a crazy scenario. But I feel like, you know, this is that opportunity. Solid, reliable, stable. See, somebody coming in, putting their best foot forward. But I feel like most of you have moved on. You're manifesting something new. So it's whatever it is, is coming in. There's been a journey here. This has been a journey in love for some people. And some of you, this journey in love is career, financial stability, things starting to go in your favor. Okay. So there, and there could be someone who sees you in a favorable light. Okay. 
uh, here as well, very positive. So there's things being acknowledged. Yeah, whatever it is, it's saying, you know, it's an energy. We got someone here who doesn't give up, someone who's not giving up. There, someone longing for love isn't giving up. But maybe you have, you know. So you got a communication. It's going to manifest through a communication. And there's going to be some truth about someone being successful. Okay. Or just a truth. And it could be a creative idea too. Somebody sharing that with you. There's all kinds of things going on. I see a busy time definitely. But whatever it is, it's the manifesting through communication. So it's you're kind of getting a heads up to kind of be ready. Because I see long-term planning, success, goals, chasing financial stability, success. Things are shifting in your favor. A cycle is over. I mean, it could be some of you, like I say, maybe ending a relationship, a marriage with someone. Okay, Maybe somebody here maybe started something with someone before they ended it. So it's telling you to just look at it and be wise, okay? See your truth. Temper your words, okay? Temper your words, your thoughts, before you make a choice. It's, it, whatever the choice is, it's going to fulfill you emotionally. See, it's about what makes you happy. So I wish you the very best here, Libra, okay? I feel like you're open to love here. I, I feel like you're ready for love, but you want someone that you can be proud of. You want someone who's stable, that you feel safe with, okay? So I wish you the very best, and we'll see you soon.